It's one of the biggest pitfalls that I see singers make is they're just like, amazing, 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 amazing. What did she just do with her ear? Hold my hand, everything will be okay. I heard from the heavens that clouds have been gray. Pull me close, wrap me in your aching arms. I see that you're hurting, why'd you take so long? To tell me you need me I see that you're bleeding You don't need to show me again But if you decide to I'll ride in this life with you I won't let go till the end Firstly, we have to stop it there just for a moment. I'm... I didn't watch the beginning where she was speaking at the beginning of this song um, because I really just wanted to focus on the live performance itself, but did hear a little bit of her speaking. Now, if you just go back to it, you can hear she's got a really... There's heroes all around us in unassuming places. You can hear that when she's speaking, she's got a really lovely... I mean, it does sound a little bit like she's got a little bit of slack vocal folds going on, which is like the, the slowest that your vocal folds can be. that like... Uh pop sound popping sound you could call it um but she's got a really lovely thick vocal fold closure especially starting the song very very low volume i know it sounds big but please 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 don't be fooled this is a this microphone this is a pop singer's uh, instrument as well it's really important that you, you that you work with uh, the microphone as well especially if you're singing pop this is a low volume sound and especially when she goes higher in the range let's just hear that Why'd you take so long to tell me you need me? I see that you're bleeding. You don't need to show me again. But if you decide to, I'll ride in this life with... Yeah, there we go. So we hear that. If you decide to, I'll ride in this life with you. So what she's doing there is she's just making it, you, you could call this twang. It is a squeezing of the top of the larynx. And, and when I say this, I have to say, like, we, we're never really 100% sure what's going on in the voice because we can't just move one muscle. We're moving multiple muscles when we're singing. Um, but this is how I would explain it to a singer to work. Just the top of the larynx. Eh, I always think about it's like you're a bit of an annoying baby cry. Now, I'm not making fun of Lady Gaga. This is just how I would explain to someone to make the sound. But what she's doing there is she's allowing the raising of the larynx in order to get that right in this life with you to get that lovely thicker vocal fold sound further up in the range. It's so important that the larynx remains mobile, especially in this big belty stuff. Sad to I'll ride in this life with you. I won't let go till the end. So cry tonight. But don't you let go of my hand You can cry every last tear I won't leave till I understand Promise me just hold my hand Hold my hand, hold my I love this. And I love it as well that she doesn't have any fucking fancy microphone in her hand. She's just got exactly what I'm using here. She's got a Shure SM58. 
fucking thing's muddled up here. It's just like an industry standard, honestly. Look at this tongue position though. I'm really loving it. Understand. Hold my hand, hold my, hold my hand, hold my. There you go. Hold my hand, hold my hand. If you're wanting to learn a little bit more about the tongue, check out my free singing lesson available in the description below. But it's really important that we keep the tongue forward in the mouth against the bottom teeth and also against the top molars. So like you're doing an E, I want you to go like E, ho, ho, my head, ho, my. It feels weird at the beginning. Ho, my head, ho, my head. And what she's also doing, she's got a lovely high larynx and she's got a little bit of squeezing going on in order to create that little bit of sound of like, oh, I'm really working for this sound. Now, I promise you this is probably not a very loud sound whatsoever, but because we've got a great sound pressure wave because the vocal folds are thick, it's going to be sounding on the microphone like a loud sound, but acoustically, this is probably not very loud. But if you want more information about belting and the different styles of belting, then just yell at me belting in the comments because I would love to know if that's something you're interested in learning a little bit more about the different styles of belt and how you can create those sounds. She just pulled out her inner ears. This is where she's hearing the music directly from the band so that she's making sure she's hearing everything. They're also like earplugs. So they're, they're canceling out all of the external sound so that you're just hearing the music. But what can often happen is that when you, you notice singers will maybe pull out one of them because it's sometimes quite difficult to hear yourself singing when you don't have a little bit of acoustic feedback. Let's just go back to this bit because I love that she's like going for it for gold with her like energy, but her volume doesn't really change very much. Cause you notice when she pulls the microphone away, it really like the sound's gone, yeah? And on my head, I'll be right. That's what it's about though. It's about not pushing, but putting that energy that you're wanting to have into your performance, but not necessarily making the sound louder. Now that's relatively difficult, um, but obviously Lady Gaga is like the ultimate professional. You can see there as well, her larynx is right up high. Now, if that's something that you're wanting to work on, I want you to think about making it sound like you're a little, like you're talking like a little mini person. Or I like to talk about like, um, like I'm one of the children that I teach like sometimes. Uh, so yeah, like this. Uh, up here so the larynx raises and they go um da, 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 da. it's really about with that loud belty sound about the larynx position a lot of the time it's got to be high yeah got to be high i want you to think though about doing like keeping the vocal folds thick. So if this is something that's really eluding you, I want you to make sure that you can do my glottal onset with my singing 101 video, doing the E, E, A, O, U. I want you to get like that chest voice register down the bottom, like really sitting well. Really high tongue, look at that.
a workout in itself. Holy macaroni. She's amazing, isn't she? Isn't she just so phenomenal and like such incredible song? Wow. Wow. Lady Gaga, you're amazing. Belts is a lot easier than you think it is. I have, just have to say like belting is much, much easier than people think it is. I think belting is like kind of shown as this like magical, mystical thing that it like only a certain number of people can do. But it, it's really just about training. It's just about learning how to do it properly. So um, I can definitely help you get there. Yell at me <laughs> in the comments. There's so much that I loved about their performance. I love that Lady Gaga takes you on an emotional journey and it's all about the lyric. It's all about the communication of the lyric, no matter which, no matter what she's singing. She pours her heart out on stage and you heard that at the end there. She was wrecked. Voice was tired. She gives it her all and she's an incredible performer. But let me know down in the comments what you love most about that. Check out my other Lady Gaga uh, analyses over here because she's an incredible vocalist. I look forward to seeing you around here next time and happy singing. Kaki channel.